Hi, I'm Mani Bhushan from Gemini Power Hydraulics and I'm here for the introduction of a very special product, especially for the construction and infrastructure industry. Diesel is one of the most consumed fuels in the construction site today. And managers and supervisors who are handling diesel, they know that this is one of their biggest pain points. Diesel wastage, diesel pilferage is one of the biggest problems that the industry is facing today. The various methods to bring diesel from a fueling station to your construction site and I'm sure you would be following one of these methods is to use a barrel or a metal container, put it on one of the utility vehicles and bring the diesel to your construction site. Now in the construction site it is manually unloaded by using a barrel pump. The process is both time consuming, it invites pilferage and wastage in the first instance. Let me introduce you a product which will help you not only do away with this hectic barrels or uh, metal containers but will also save time, manpower and will also be accountable towards your diesel requirement. I am proud to introduce Gemini Mobile Fuel Tank. Now this fuel tank is very innovative since it is we are the first company in India to manufacture polyethylene fuel tanks. Yes, this is not an ordinary metal tank. As you can see, this is made up of polyethylene. 8 to 10 mm thick, which is mounted on your smallest utility vehicle. In this case, we have mounted it on a Tata. The raw material used to make this tank is UV stable, which means it can stand all day long in the sun without the possibility of the fuel getting evaporated. Secondly, this being polyethylene, it eliminates the chances of internal and external corrosion. At the end of the day, keeping your fuel clean to be used in the other construction equipment. There are two parts to the fuel tank. A, the tank which you can see in front of you. And the second is the dispensing system. Yes, it has its own dispensing system which is mounted in it. Now the tank is roto molded. This is a process of making the tank from the raw material. Being roto molded, this is one unit and not two different units which are glued together. So because of this being one single unit, any chances of leakage is eliminated in the first step itself. Secondly, you can see the fuel dispensing unit. This consists of four major parts. A 12 volts DC pump. Now this being a DC pump and we provide these clamps along with the pump. You can directly attach the clamps to the battery of the vehicle which means you don't need an additional power source. Then the second main part is the digital display. This is a digital meter and which tells you the amount of diesel that, is, that has been dispensed and the total amount of diesel dispensed till date. The third important part or the important component of the fuel tank is the 5 meter long hose. This being 5 meter long, it gives you the ability to refuel your construction equipment from a long distance. And the fourth part is the automatic nozzle. As you can see, the moment the level of the diesel touches the level of the nozzle, it automatically gets cut off. Let me explain you the process of filling the tank. As you can see, on the top of the tank, you have two openings. A, a big opening, a big cap and a smaller opening. Now while loading the vehicle in the tank, you can see this is an air vent a spring loaded air vent which is an additional safety feature in case if there is any pressure which is generated inside the tank due to the spikes due to the movement of uh, the fuel in your construction site it is actually released to the atmosphere using the air vent and this exactly acts as your fueling point the second opening is the bigger opening you can remove the cap from here and if there is any cleaning requirement you can actually clean the tank I'll just show you the internal structure of the tank. As you can see, there is a big hump. Now this hump actually eliminates the spike in the diesel when you are traveling on a rough terrain. And it also acts as a barrier when your vehicle is traveling on the road and the driver suddenly applies the brake. This hump actually eliminates the pressure of the diesel in the forward direction or backward. It has a lock and key arrangement where everything that you see can be locked. A, the top can be locked. B, you can just close the door and you can use a lock over here. I would also like to show you the mounting of the tank. Now, handling of this tank is very easy. 
we have two forklift points and you have two crane points which is provided on the top of the tank. The forklift point can also be used to be when, when it is required to be mounted permanently on the chassis of a vehicle. This forklift point runs completely through the body. So the mount while mounting, you just need to put a channel and you can you can have a screw and bolt arrangement in this way and you can mount it. We normally suggest to have some either a rubber sheet or a wooden sheet which is actually waterproof to be laid here and the mounting to be done on the top of that as you can see in the video.